bear down. Beautiful bear. Uh, jet black. Pretty, pretty bear. Holy cow. That was crazy. That was crazy. That happened fast. Good morning from northern Utah. We're just taking off. Gonna do a gonna set up our uh, bear baits for the year gonna be a few of us that hunt hunt over a couple of baits but uh, yeah DIY bear bait 2021 we're getting it kicked off and uh, got a long drive ahead so and then the work then the work begins we're halfway there we are halfway there I'm really tired Belmer basically slept the whole time uh, the cameraman so he left me to you know basically fend for myself to get here so that we have time to do a couple baits today um, we met up with uh, our buddy Jordan he uh, he already hiked in um, a couple of barrels um, got the bait tag set up on the bait registered the bait and so now we're getting in uh, the tree stand for this bait um, and we're gonna get that set up today and then we're gonna uh, pack in a couple bags of uh, bread. We got some boar masters here in the pack that we're gonna set up too. So anyway, we're gonna get this baited um, and uh, hopefully this is a money spot. So here we go. What do you think, Jordan, this tree right here? Ideally, I think that one would be the best, just depending on if we can get the straps around it. If yeah. not, we I can go we can. that further one, but I think this one would be the best. Yeah, so we'll probably just do, we'll probably just do some trimming. Um, trim it up there a little ways. Ideally, we want to probably be right there at the top. Okay, we're going to get started uh, on this, getting this tree stand up, and then uh, we got to get some bait in here as well. But got to get rolling because it's getting late fast. a ton and then once we hang the stand there might be just a couple we'll need to trim i'm uh i'm a little afraid of heights and uh jordan here is a whitetail guy so from the midwest he's up there finishing it off he's got a safety harness on and uh we just got a couple more uh sticks or ladders uh, to go and then we'll get the stand up so jordan's got almost all the ladders up the tree um we're using the Hawk Helium Pro uh, tree stand for this hunt. It's super lightweight, a lot easier to put up than some of those bigger ones. So I'm gonna hand this to him here when he's ready, but we're almost done. You just wrap it around and... Yeah. I came back, I'm gonna load up um, one more bag of this bread, this bait on my pack, and then uh, we're gonna get back, set up trail cameras, put down bore masters, and then uh, we're gonna get on to the next bait, so. All right, so we just had um, some bait into this first bait site. Uh, Jordan's finishing up the tree stand. Uh, this is the barrel that Jordan brought in yesterday. Um, again, he's tagged tagged it with the bait tag. And so basically now we just gotta put the stealth cams up, uh, put the final touches on the tree stand and um, bore masters and we're good to go. So the bait is set. We got borer masters sprayed all over this place to hopefully bring them in to the bait. Um, I poured the anise on top of the bread. So it's really stinky and well, good smelling to the bears, stinky for us, but really smelly at the actual bait. So 
obviously they get that bread aroma they get the boar masters aroma and hopefully some of that spray that cherry spray brings them in last step to this process is setting up the trail camera now you see i have black latex gloves on that's because i've been messing around with boar masters even if i hadn't you know the the scent for my hand is going to go on the camera bears are very curious they're going to rip this sucker down so we're going to put this trail camera up we're going to strap it first and then we'll put um, a cable around it and it should stay pretty secure this is the stealth cam ds4k camera um, i'm going to run it in 1080 just because 4k eats up a lot of card space um, so we're going to set this up on video mode 20 second increments and then it's going to be 20 seconds in between videos and that should give us plenty of looks at these bears they're they're going to be in here a bunch once they hit it they're going to be in it so this tree right here is a perfect spot to really get um, photos and video of what the the bears are as they come in because we want a big bear Just looking. So Jordan just finished the tree stand, uh, got the ladders up, set the actual stand. It looks awesome. This tree stand is sweet. That's why you let a Midwest whitetail hunter do it for you. You always hunt with someone smarter than you. That, that was my purpose with going with Jordan. But seriously, I appreciate it. Jordan, what do you think? It looks sweet. You're gonna really like it when you get up there. Tie this off right here. Jordan just taught me. This is the safety line and it connects to this. So as I climb up the tree, it goes with me and I'm always connected and safe. So that's pretty cool. Um, thanks to Jordan, the tree stands, awesome. Um, I got the cam uh, trail camera up and then I got the the bait all down and uh, bore master sprayed. So uh, unfortunately, um, because of the long drive and being a little bit late, we only got one bait done today. So tomorrow we'll do the other bait. Um, we're gonna do a ground blind on that one. So we're gonna kind of play around with, with tactics. Throughout this hunt, we're probably gonna, you know, um, hunt baits from obviously ground blind, tree stand, uh, we'll probably try a bait across the canyon as well um, and kind of be two, three hundred yards. And then we'll also probably do some spot and stock over this hunt. So again, we're baiting now. We'll be back in a couple weeks to freshen it up and to, to actually hunt it. But for now, we're done for the day. Uh, get to work tomorrow. All right, so it's day two of baiting. Um, we are at a new spot here and uh, we're gonna hike in some bait just like we did yesterday. And then we're gonna try to find a good place for a ground blind. So that's kind of the goal today. Get one more bait done, um, get a ground blind up and uh, we can go from there. But uh... Yeah, You know, there's a warning on here that says you shouldn't eat this stuff, but oh my gosh, I want to. That's good. So right before we leave, after baiting a barrel, we take a little bit of this Boremaster spray and we'll just pour it on top of the bread. Um, the reason we do that is so when the bears come in and they're kind of messing with the bread, um, they're gonna get it on their paws and then as they you know walk away they track this scent and so other bears come in they get that smell and they come into the barrel so that's kind of the purpose behind that Unfortunately, the camera guy and I got to get home. Um, I have some family stuff I got to get back to, but uh, we're gonna take off here. We'll be back in a couple of weeks to hunt the baits um, or spot and stock, depending on 
uh, what I want to do, I guess. There's, there's a lot of options. So we can sit the stand, which turned out awesome, or uh, there's, this is great country for spot and stock too. So I'll end up probably doing a little bit of both, but for right now, we gotta go. A few weeks later, I headed back to hunt the stands we had set up. While I was driving up, I got a call from my buddy Colton saying he had checked the baits and cameras and that we had bears hitting. There was a nice big black bear coming in and a pretty looking cinnamon bear. It was also motivating because when I got to camp, Colton had showed me his eventful night and a bear that he had passed on. Finally <laughs> met up with this big game. We made it. So he had some action tonight. Had a little action. Sat a barrel, what happened? Slow till about 8.50, looked up and there was a, a bear. He was licking all my bait. Then he worked his way in, took a couple donuts, took off running, um, came back and then sat on there till dark till I snuck out down the Dude, river. I can't believe you didn't shoot it. You shoot anything you I see. I generally shoot Sweet. anything I see. We got a little video of him. Not the greatest video of Hispanic King. He's uh, not a baby, but definitely not uh, not mature, not ready for me to shoot him yet. So That's try, exciting though. We'll try again tomorrow, yeah. So first night, today was more of a see what was going on. Some saw bears, so we're happy. Well, Colton, how are you feeling today? First morning of the hunt. It's just getting light. Climbed up here at the tree stand. The barrel's been smashed. So I sprayed some more masters around and tried to get the scent back up. Hopefully that big black bear comes in. He probably won't, but he's mostly nocturnal. The rest of the morning was slow without any action, so I decided to head out for lunch and return later that evening to restock the bait and hope that I could catch that nice black bear coming in before dark. The problem was he liked to come in about 10 to 15 minutes after dark, so I needed to get lucky and hope he would make a mistake and come in during shooting light. My second sit here in this tree stand. Hopefully that big bear comes in before it gets too dark. I have a good feeling about tonight. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Alright, well I just checked the wind on the um, base map. Using hot wind and it looks like the wind should be perfect for the rest of the night, so when that big bear comes in just a little smidge before light. He's smart, he's a, he's a nocturnal bear, but he's close to coming in and shooting hours, so. Wind is perfect. Gotta do this. All right, so I wasn't able to um, give an update in the stand because there were still bears all around me once it got dark. So I just hurried and got out of there so I didn't uh, spook anything and I tried to be quiet as possible. But God, tonight was weird. I thought for sure I was gonna get it done. Um, I spotted that really nice cinnamon bear with the big blocky head and he was up in the cliffs. 
about 115, 20 yards. And uh, he slowly made his way down. I was like, oh man, it's over. Gonna smoke him. But he came down and, and he hung up at 100 yards below me. He was in front of me, now he's below me. I was like, oh man, he's circling, he's gonna come right in. And um, I heard some hikers like a couple hundred yards away and their voice was carrying through that canyon and he kind of like got all alert and then he started feeding away next thing i knew he was back up on the cliff right where he was before anyway so kind of a weird night i thought i was going to kill him um and then things just kind of went bass backwards and so it kind of sucked but anyway hopefully uh i'm trying to think of what i want to do tomorrow whether i want to go back there again and sit for a little bit in the morning or if I want to take my chances and spot and stock with the rifle. I just don't have a lot of time, so um, trying to maximize my time. But I do like that cinnamon bear. He's nice. Morning set number two. And uh, it's cloudy and cold. Uh, which is good. I would think the wind is good, man. I hope I can get it done today. That second morning sit was just like the day before, slow with no bears on the move. I went back to the stand that evening and this time no bears came in. It had me thinking about you Midwest hunters that sit tree stands all day, every day, waiting for a big whitetail buck to come in and how I'm not used to this kind of hunting. I'm accustomed to glassing and changing locations until I find animals. It's easy to get discouraged when you have to stay in the same place all day and how the animal is outsmarting you at every turn. So I went back to what I was used to, spot and stock, to give myself a mental break. That next morning, I found a vantage point, set up the loophole spotter, and glass for some bears. All right, so I hiked up to an old logging road and uh, I have a pretty good vantage point of these open faces here. So I'm gonna glass this this morning um, and see if the bear can't come out. I can put the 6.5 PRC to work. Anyway, peaceful, beautiful morning. Man, I can't even believe it. I can't believe I haven't seen a bear. I've seen elk, deer, place is littered with elk and deer and it looks like perfect bear country can't turn on up to save my life I'm gonna keep uh, on this old logging road keep working my way down and uh, glassing into these fingers um, God, gotta turn on up eventually with no luck spot and stock hunting I headed back to my vehicle to prepare for another afternoon in the stand I don't know. I just want to get it done. And this bear has just absolutely schooled me. Both bears have, there's a nice cinnamon and then there's a really big black bear. And uh, they've just taken me to town. They've taken me to school. And so I'm going to take some drastic measures on my last night. Um, part of me wanted to go spot and stalk or do something different um, or hunt the cliffs above this tree stand because I think they come out of those cliffs, but I'm going to walk I'm gonna, I'm, I've parked the vehicle over a mile away. Um, I'm gonna hike even farther in. Um, I'm gonna leave my pack at a certain point, take everything I need in. I'm gonna go light, quick, fast, easy. Um, I'm gonna spray myself down with scent killer. I'm gonna take some bore masters in and spray that all around me, try to cover my scent. Like I'm gonna do everything I can um, so that I said I gave it my, you know, my all.
Sprayed poor masters all around me. Hopefully that masks my scent. Um, like I said, I'm, I was tempted to go spot and stock hunting, but I want to get it done with my bow. So bad. Tonight's the night, baby. Tonight's the night. Even with taking my extra precautions and my high motivation to get a bear from my tree stand, the bears just weren't cooperating. So I headed home, hoping to find a few extra days when my wife would let me come back and get it done. All right, we're back. We got a day and a half to kill two bears. Two evenings, two bears. Two evenings, two bears. One tonight, one tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ideally two tonight. Ideally two tonight. So we, uh, we're gonna see what's hitting the baits and that's how we're gonna decide how we're gonna hunt this. Because if there's not bears coming in the baits, we're gonna try to get up into the cliffs um, where these bears, where we've seen a lot of bears moving through. They like these uh, kind of cliffy pine areas. And uh, that's how we're gonna, we're gonna hunt this. So if, if bears aren't hitting the baits, we're gonna go find them. Colton and I just check our first barrel and uh, it's getting hit. Looks like there's a decent bear on here. Um, we're gonna freshen it up and this might be a place that we hunt tonight or tomorrow. So um, we're gonna grab some bait. Um, I'm gonna grab my rifle. We're gonna check the bait. And I'm probably, just based on how long it's been since we baited last, I'm, I think I'm gonna glass cliffs and not with my rifle, but we'll see. If nothing's hitting in the day, this is gonna turn into a spot and stock and uh, gonna take the old rifle and try to spot something. All right, so Colton and I just got to the tree stand bait. Um, unfortunately, the stealth cam was uh, knocked off the tree, so. I don't know how much footage we got, but Colton's checking the card right now and we're gonna see. Well, regardless, the stealth cam got knocked off, but they've been here within the last three days. It was baited three and a half days ago and the barrel is hammered. So that barrel was just loaded. Um, obviously the worry is that it's empty now, so the bear could be gone, but uh, it's just gamble. Um, I still think my best bet's to get to where I can glass these cliffs. I think that's the plan tonight. With an hour left of light, I glassed up a black bear making its way through the timber coming right into the opening that I was watching. I tried to grab my spotter and tacticam so that I could set up for the kill shot. As soon as I went to grab it, the bear caught movement and moved out. I continued to stay set up on the branch in case the bear made its way back.
bear down. Beautiful bear. Um, jet black. Pretty, pretty bear. Holy cow. That was crazy. That was crazy. That happened fast. So things kind of happened fast tonight. Um, I saw this this bear come out, and uh, I saw its head for a little bit. Looked like a good mature head, and ended up coming out into the opening right before dark. And made a perfect shot right behind the shoulder. Um, only went about 25 yards, so teeth are worn down. Head is blocky. Small ears. Um, it's a it's a mature bear. This hunt turned out awesome. Uh, didn't turn out like I thought it would. I, you know, started out sitting a tree stand for 20 plus hours. And on this second trip, I was gonna sit it again, but um, bears weren't coming in consistently enough. There, there was one big bear on the, on the tree stand barrel, but he's completely nocturnal. Couldn't have uh, asked for a better hunt um, with great people. Thanks Colton for filming me and taking some pictures and uh, skinning the bear out with me, so. We're gonna throw, we got all four quarters here and then the, the head and the cape and we're gonna throw them on our packs to get out of here. Thanks, dude. <laughs> 